Hello there planner friends. Welcome back to the channel Creating with Sarah. So today's video I have a special package and announcement from Planny Things. So if you guys want to check out what's inside, then keep on watching. So welcome back planners. I'm Sarah, all things creating, planning yet, keeping things fun and functional here on my planner channel. And today I have for you a package new collection from Planny Thing. This is the Amsterdam collection. I'm super excited that Amber has started new big things for 2023 and she has shared this new collection with me. This is her Amsterdam collection and what's fun is you're getting a little postcard with your new collection, some of her favorite places and I'm so excited to share this with you all. So let's go ahead and open this up. Oh my goodness, as you can see, so many cute new planner goodies to play with this year. And what's so cool, the fun new announcement is that starting February 2nd, which this will release February 2nd, everything from Planning Thing is gonna be Amber's own illustration. Before she was um, using other talented graphics um, from different other illustrators. So this time around, she has been focusing on illustrating her own graphics. And I am so happy to share this with you all. Um, so we have lots of things here. We have paper products, a sticker book, and some washi. I think the first thing we should dive in is the sticker book. How cute is this? It's the same packaging as you can see. And then on the back side, you have those cute little white icons that kind of resemble what you're getting inside. And so this is Plenty Things Seasonal Houses and Trees in Amsterdam. 530 stickers. It's a full 30 sticker book. Oh my gosh. I'm excited to flip through this. So I am so excited to flip through this. Let's go ahead and check out Amber's new illustrations. Again, this is called the Amsterdam Collection. I've never been, so this is exciting to, you know, bring this to my planner layouts or spreads. Oh my gosh. Super cute. So a lot of this is going to be like city or just scenic decorative stickers. This has some fall elements to it with some trees and pumpkins. Really cute. And these are all her um, clear soft stickers. It even has some clouds, kind of background stickers. If you love making scenes, this sticker book is for you. How cute. I think we have Amber down here with her little dogs. You can catch Amber on YouTube. She shares some behind the scenes of um, her lifestyle and about her company and herself and of course her two little dogs. Cute. I love it. You do have a variety of, you know, larger stickers and some smaller ones here. Let me see if these are individual. Okay, so not a cluster here. So this is an individual, which is really nice because everyone likes to make or build their own little cluster of stickers in their planner spreads. So you do get two pages of each sticker. I can't believe these are her own illustrations. That's so cute. Okay, so then she's added a sheet of functional basic boxes that go with um, the same color palette. So you get two pages and these are paper matte. And then we get into um, a winter vibe. Again, this is seasonal, so it's gonna have that throughout the sticker book. So this is the winter, more green, more holiday-esque. Oh my gosh, got some snow flurries. Really cute. Now we have some other elements with snowmen. We have some people skating. Oh my gosh, adorable. This one, you have more of a scene for you right here. And then you have your basic boxes. You get two sheets. And then we roll into spring. Oh my gosh, so cute. I love the little bridge. 
These are all individual stickers. Again, they're clear, but they're really soft and they just look really great on a white background. You can really see that color. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. These are so cute. Then you have your, again, your functional boxes. You know, these you can use for list habits. Um, here you can always turn, instead of using vertical, you can use them horizontally and really great for appointments or major highlights throughout your week or day. If you're using a daily. Then we have summer. Oh, so cute. Little ice cream cart there. Oh my gosh. I love this. I love all the pops of green and then your functional boxes. And the last couple of pages is extra um, house scenes. You have like this long border here, um, but you could definitely do some sticker surgery and use it how you would like to in your spread. And these are individual. And I think these are cute and adorable. And again, I can't believe these are all Amber's new illustrations. So cute. All right, so that is Seasonal Houses and Trees in Amsterdam. I think this is adorable. I love that it's a seasonal sticker book and you have some functional boxes and it gives you a little bit of what's it like in Amsterdam. Perfect for traveling as well. Let's take a look at the rest of the collection. We have the sticker book. We have the paper products. And it looks like you have two different seasons and two different options and then like the a sticky note and then some paper and then the washi. The washi I'll quickly share and um, I'll go ahead and swatch towards the end of the video but I want to go ahead and show you guys a close-up of the washi collection here if I can get it all in one hand. <laughs> okay so you have two options here. You have some that have like a scenic decorative design here. We have some bicycles, a snowy winter scene, a spring, a fall and then the gorgeous beautiful streets of Amsterdam little houses there and then they're in different sizes I think because the bike one's a little bit smaller this might be a seven and then these are probably tens um, definitely check her website for descriptions but um, also I didn't mention is that this isn't a collection for you to get as a subscription it is something that you can pick and choose what you'd like to plan with um, so I'm pretty sure all this is individual purchases. So the next one here is like great for layering. These are really popular, um, the whole grid trend. And I think these are a perfect size. They're not too big and they're not too small. So you have like this sagey green. Um, I'm not sure if those are the right colors if she's named them, but definitely check the website. The link will be down below if you guys wanna shop this new collection. Uh, then we have like this navy color this pretty taupe color. If you are a minimalist or someone who does not like a lot of color, I think this is a really good one that's really pretty. And then we have like this pretty lilac color, which is kind of my fave. So I really like that one in the green. So those are really nice to have in your stash. If you're building a washi collection, those are really good for like background layering. And then this is more of a de decorative um, washi and I will definitely open those up and swatch them out for you so let's go over the paper products so we have like these full list pads here again everything is illustrated by her so I'm gonna give you guys a little close-up here of of the winter scene here super cute look at that it's adorable and it's kind of got like this blank space in here um, with this the corners are kind of rounded there, like a cute little frame. Oh, it's double-sided. So this is double-sided. That's a neat surprise. So this is the back side. That's so cute. 
It says plenty thing at the bottom. So these, you know, I always use these. Again, these are great for taking notes and jotting things down. Kind of like a pre-planning thing to help you put into your planner. So you have that option. This one um, has lines and this is the fall version. Really pretty. And then, let's see, is it the same? So on the back side is a little different. It just has some decorative images at the bottom and the top. And then this must be spring and summer, I'm guessing. So here's the one with the lines, and this is the little scene at the bottom. And then this is the back side. It's just on the bottom on this one. Really cute. You have to let me know which one's your favorite and if you prefer on your list pads, lines or no lines. Oh, how cute. Look at this little boat or bridge with the boat. It's a, like a canal. That's so cute. So this is summer. This has no lines. That's what that one looks like. Oh, so adorable. So these are fun. You can switch them out in the season. And then you have your little sticky note. I've been using these a lot. Um, I got one in her advent calendar and I currently have it um, split up. So what I like to do with sticky notes is um, I take them and split them up and I add them to my planner, like on the inside, or if you have like a decorative cover and you have a little pocket to put it in, or if you have like a laminated surface, um, you can stick it there because these are like little sticky notes or you just split them up and add them around your house. <laughs> so I kind of do that in my office studio and then in my family office. So I can use these up during the seasons because they're so cute. So those are the sticky notes. And then lastly, we have some scrapbook paper, very decorative scrapbook paper. And these are double-sided. And then here's the back side which is, this is more of a scene, and this is um, more of just like a decorative, you know, minimal element. That way, if you were to make a, you know, cover, or these make really easy covers, because you can just punch it. And I think these are the size of a classic happy planner. So you could also make a cute notebook. Um, here is the winter one. Oh my gosh, I love the back side of this one. I love that they're skating and the little snowman has like some snowy scenes. And I think this one is spring. I love this illustration. It definitely gives me like painting vibes. Like this part here just looks like a beautiful painting. So the back side has the cute bikes. And then this is summer. I would love to go to Amsterdam and explore that. That's so fun. And here's the back side. I love the pop of pink on this back side of this one. So summer, spring, winter, and fall. Um, these are also fun, I guess, if you would be traveling in this area, you could use these for a memory keeping page um, or perfect for journaling if you do that as well. So let's go ahead and swatch out the washi. Okay, I have swatched out the beautiful washi. I have to say this collection is super soft, super easy. I didn't have any struggle with um, unrolling it because sometimes I do with washi. Um, but this one was super soft and super easy to swatch. Um, my favorite is the grid. So if you're looking to build up your stash, I think these are perfect. Um, subtle colors for you to start out with. I mean, that is just so pretty. I love it. And it's so soft. So those swatched out really perfectly. And here they are up close. So I think they're super fun. I really, really, really like the one of the Amsterdam houses. That one's my favorite. And then probably the winter one. Alrighty, planners, that is the look of 
Amber's new collection for the new year. This is Seasonal Houses and Trees in Amsterdam. Let me know what you guys think about this and if you'll be picking up anything from this collection. Again, this releases February 2nd. And of course, subscribe and hit that notification bell if you guys want to see me plan with these items. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care, stay safe, and happy planning. Bye!